tertiary column. So again, showing now you have your antrum filled with fluid. Here's your oocyte against the side now instead of the middle and surrounded by those cells. That is a tertiary follicle right there. And then finally, I actually, the corpus luteum, they end up being pretty large. So I might even look at 4X and 10X for a corpus luteum. But this is a corpus luteum right here. It just kind of looks like a big blobby thing, okay? That's at 4X. If you go up closer to it, you can see some details and folds in it that look kind of like a picture. You can see some folds as it's kind of bunched up. But I wouldn't show that to you. I mean, if, if you were to look at that slide, there's no way you'd identify that. So, Let's say 4x for the corpus luteum. And then uh, 10 to 40x for the tertiary and secondary level. So that's corpus luteum, tertiary follicles, but 10x or 40x, and then a secondary follicle. Look for the one that looks um, more purplish. I'll actually put 